Hi, and welcome to episode six in our removal series. This picture here is gonna take all the skills that we've learned so far with the clone stamp tool, spot healing brush, and we're gonna remove everything that we can see just to keep the picture as the couple itself. So, I got my Kevin Cavi. Let's get on it. Ow. All right, for this picture here, It'll be a little more complicated, but in the end, it'll be great. We'll be using most of our tools again. By now, we should be getting fairly good with the clone stamp tool, spot healing brush, and possibly the healing brush. All right, so first thing we need to do is create some repair layers. So, new layer. We'll call this one left. And new layer. Right. Okay, I'd like to work on the right-hand side of the uh, picture first. It might be a bit easier. So let's zoom in and see what we got. We got some ladies here, some stuff on the ground that needs to be removed. Rope, another lady here. But we got to put back some other stuff. So let's work on the road first, or the pathway. So let's zoom in a bit. Now to rotate so we can draw a little bit better clone stamp tool about 25 percent flow all right we got some good lines here so let's grab a little bit here line it up and just kind of remove it Let's remove it just down to the rope. Now let's grab the line of the rock. Line it up. So this time let's go upward into the ocean here. And remove that. Again, let's try it from the other side for the other lady. Grab your line right about there. Line it up. Let's do that. So what we'll do is we'll grab a bit of the grass here for a line. Line it up. And go as much as we can. Got a little bit of a schmozzle to clean up here, but that's okay. Just keep lining it up. Don't want any repeating patterns. Let's clean that up a bit. Now let's grab way over here for the grass. Line it up. And remove as much as we can from the ladies. Go right up to the rope if we can again. Now what we can do, grab some over here. And color it in. Now what I'm going to do later is remove some of these repeating patterns. Because that's just annoying. Now. Let's change to our spot healing brush. And let's go over this. Uh, and this. Not bad at all. Back to our clone stamp tool. Let's grab from like way over here and down here. And let's see how much we can grab. And go right up to the rope again. It's the rope. If it's possible, I'd like to use the spot healing brush on it. Let's grab a little bit more over here. Okay. Now, spot healing brush, hit J. Let's make sure it's going to be, yeah, just a little bit larger than the rope. 
And let's follow the line over there. Not bad. We'll clean up that in a bit during our cleanup period. So, spacebar, let's kind of move this over. Now, for the other lady, what we're going to have to do is make sure that this is protected when we start clone stamping. So, R, escape. Let's zoom out. And let's do the object selection tool. Now, let's see if we can choose the, the lady. Not a bad selection at all. So let's zoom in. Yeah, not too shabby at all. And now this will all be protected. So let's reverse selection or invert. So we can work on the outside. So anything we use our clone stamp for will not go past. So grab some grass from over here. And color it in grab some more grass from over here if you want you can increase your flow to whatever you wish I'm gonna grab it from way over here and let's just straight color it in till we get to the sidewalk again or the path, whatever you wish to call it. Keep making your selections. Let's get right in there. Now what we're going to have, we got some good lines for the ocean. So let's grab from like way over here. Kind of line it up to where her heat is. And let's make some ocean. Now what we can do as well. If you want, rotate your canvas. That's not bad. Bad clone stamp. Let's make a bit of sidewalk. And then we'll grab the sidewalk section from here. Line it up. Let's see what it does. Yeah, this is part I don't like because we're going to have repeating rocks. So let's kind of go way over here and just kind of recreate some different rocks. All right. One last section here. And this part is done. Now, if you wish, let's reduce the flow to about 5%. Clone stamp tool. Just kind of clean it up a bit. Make some ocean. Okay, let's zoom out. Control D to deselect, and all that section is gone. Okay, I'd like to take a short break and, you know, rest our eyes a bit. Just like to remind everybody to like, subscribe, ring my bell for all further videos coming up. Thanks. Now, what we have to do is attack the left hand side. Now, this could be a little more difficult, but I think what we should do is let's remove the arch first. Create some ocean and remove the arch. So let's choose our left layer. Zoom in a bit. Okay. Now we should be able to grab with our clone stamp tool a bit of the horizon here. 
Let's make sure our flow, 25%. in here and line it up if you can. Let's grab some more of the horizon from over here. Move a little more. We got some great lines here, so let's zoom in. Grab our line from about here. Let's line the ocean up. And clean it up a bit. Take your time. Let's grab our horizon there. Line it up a bit. And let's finish this part off. If we can. All right. Looking good. So let's zoom out. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. Zoom in again. Now, these sections are going to be a little bit tougher, but I think we can get it. Again, the clone stamp tool. Maybe reduce our brush size a bit. Let's grab a bit of this ocean and foam. Line it up. And see how much we can reduce it. Keep making your selections. Now, I have to grab some ocean from over here. Don't worry about the repeating patterns for the moment. Let's go right down to the walking path. This is what we can do. Let's grab some more from over here because we can reduce the repeating patterns in a minute. This lady, grab this line here. Now, right in the middle, kind of there, line it up. Now, remember, because it's on its own layer, we can manipulate it all we want. So let's put some grass in here. Grab it again. Let's finish off the pathway with her. Now we're getting into the bush here, so what we can do is we can grab some from over here and just put it in there to make it look like it's part of the bush. Let's zoom out. Okay, that part's good. We'll have to do some cleanup, but I think we're on the right track here. So let's zoom back in. Sorry, dudes, but we're going to have to go. So let's go way over here this time, but we're only going to go to the foam. So clone stamp tool. Grab a line from over here.
gentlemen are going to be gone. The sea could be unpredictable, so you really don't know what's going on. So let's grab a line from over here and create. It's because we don't know what's behind him. Let's grab a bit of foam. The ocean. And that's him going. So let's grab a bit of this. Kind of line it up. Let's create our own ocean. Okay, what we have to do here now, though, is finish the boys off. So let's grab some walking path from over here. Line it up. Down to the bush. What's up? Now it'll need a little bit more. Let's go way over here. A little bit here. Could have been in the bush. You never know. You never know what's behind it. Go right up into here. Grab a bit of foam. Now, for all this repeating pattern stuff, what we can do is reduce the flow to about five in our clone stamp. Grab it anywhere about here. And let's just lightly color it in and create our own ocean. You can grab a bit from up here. Now, as far as this goes, Again, grab some here. Let's just create our own ocean. Okay. Now what we can do, we want to remove a little bit more. So let's make sure our flow is at 5%. Let's just create a little more ocean over here. A little more. Let's just break it up a bit. So what we can do is we have to remove this last section here, and we'll have a look. But once again, on stamp, we'll grab a little bit of a little bit of a line here. Flow, twenty five percent. Let's grab a little bit of a line right about here, and just go down. There. So we want to be consistent with what we got going on here. Go. Let's grab a bit of foam. Rest of this. Bushes and right about there. So what we can do, clone stamp tool again, reduce our flow to about 5%. And we can grab a bit of foam. This is where we get artistic. And just kind of create some foam. Coming in. All right, now, 
This part here looks a bit shady. So let's zoom back in again. So what we can do is clean it up. Grab a section here. Now, if we want, we can grab this a bit. Just kind of create our own ocean. All right. Now, upon further examination, I noticed that down by the guy's feet is a block of cement or something. So let's make a new layer. I just call it block. Let's get rid of that too. Let's zoom in. What I'd like to do with this section is clone stamp tool and what I like to call the reverse clone stamp just to mix things up a bit. So let's go under window and clone source. This is a good one to know. Let's make the offsets zero and zero and hit the button there by the W. Now let's make our flow about 20%. Now anything you start, let's grab here and anything you start painting will be the opposite. So it kind of mixes it up so you're not seeing the same rock pattern everywhere. Up here, do the bottom. Grab over here. Now, to make it line up a little bit better, let's go back. Clone source. Uncheck the W. Make sure the offsets are at zero. Flow at about 5%. Now, let's just grab a little bit of stuff from over here. And kind of blend it in. So it looks a little more natural. All right, zoom out. And that's our pick. Thanks everybody for sticking around to the end of the video. We had a lot to do in that one, but in the end, I think it turned out really great. Thanks for watching Photo 1911. See you soon.